What's up everybody, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel. We are starting off the new year with the Nacto Mini Cruiser. This is a 36 volt, 300 watt rear hub e-bike with a 10 amp hour, 36 volt battery. We plan to add the typical 36 volt, 12 amp hour battery in the Velcro strap bag that we like so very much. And then we have our 20 amp dual battery discharge balancer we anticipate bullet connectors, XT60, the general lineup, as you know. We will perform some range calculations at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Uh, we anticipate hanging the battery right here in the frame. This frame is set for a lot of amp hours, so if we wanted, we could add a much bigger battery. Keep in mind, you are not restricted to this size battery. You you can get any amp hour battery that you want. Just make sure that you have the right connections and it meets the BMS rated capacity necessary for the bike, which isn't gonna be much because this is a 36 volt system. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. Things are popping off for us at Electric All Wheels, so we appreciate everybody's support. Uh, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, get in that Facebook group make an event and go for a ride with your friends. We know a lot of you got new e-bikes for Christmas, so let's bring them out and meet up with some people and go for a ride. Here we go. So straight away, bullet connectors. So we know that. It looks like the spacing is gonna be up towards the front here. We're gonna to have to do an external install. So we'll come in from the bottom of this casing and then we will, we're actually gonna mount the battery here and this is where the balancer will go inside the bag for it otherwise you will need to make plans for your balancer because it will not fit in here so i'm going to get my bullet connector set from my kit and then i'm going to get my two cables uh, the very first thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and get them set up as if they're going to plug in so that's it and then these will run in from the bottom and connect into the system Just gonna disconnect my controller. And then reconnect my controller. From there, I'm going to connect my battery. And that's that. 
Now I know a lot of the room is up towards the front of the box, so just keep that in mind as you're stuffing all this back in here. It's a tight space. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in my balancer here to these guys. So you can't mess this up, just plug in what fits. And with the balancer connected on the ground, I'm just gonna see if I can get power to the bike. And I do, go ahead and demo. So we know that works, and then we're just gonna bring this up. I'm gonna bring the balancer up once we get set, and then we'll have everything ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this box closed up. Now I'm gonna run my cables up through this open area on the bottom. And then I'm gonna set my battery. That's it. So when you're running it back down, this is the problem you incur. So we may have to just leave this loose and maybe do a wrap around the seat or something the upper end where it's more capable of tightening. Maybe like that. That looks like it'll do. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and one, make sure you don't drop your battery. Two, I'm gonna plug in one of the battery inputs. I'm gonna take everything else and plug it in. Go 
ahead and tuck these wires back into the bag. And I know that my charger port is right here. I'm just going to leave it close. So you may think about a zip tie through here, but for this application right now, I'm just gonna leave it. But you guys, when you're doing your more permanent stuff, you might wanna go ahead and tie these down, but they're gonna be all right. There's enough tightness right here on the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and demo this second battery real quick. So we're gonna take off the um, factory battery, which is one of these cables here. And it's this one and then just make sure this thing turns on. There we go. And there you have it. It does work. So there we have it. We have now successfully installed a dual battery system on the 36 volt, 300 watt rear hub Nacto Mini Cruiser. A lot of our viewers wonder about the additional capacity. So let's just go ahead and work it out. So you have the original 36 volt battery with 10 amp hours. So that will be 36 times 10 equals 360 watt hours. And then the mica toll constant says it's 25 watt hours per mile driven. So that brings you to 14 miles and that's at a 20 mile an hour quip, a clip, which isn't exactly the speed for this bike, but it gives you an idea of where you can go with it. So at 14.4 for the factory, and then we are going to do 10 plus 12. So that gives us 22 amp hours times 36, 792 watt hours divided by 25 equals 31.68. Now I would imagine a, a little longer stretch for this because I don't imagine that the speed would be at that clip at 20 miles per hour. But if it is, you're looking at 31.68 miles for the Nacto Mini Cruiser. If you haven't already, Give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the area, e-bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida, get in that Facebook group, make an event and go for a ride with your friends. Enjoy your Nacto Mini Cruiser, 36 volt, 300 watt hours. Perfect for the nice compact, but masculine looking machine that you will need seven speeds. So you can actually pedal this out and get some stuff done if you need to. We'll talk to you next time.